Now, now, Kenya party leader Martha Karua and Law Society of Kenya President Faith Odiambo are among leaders demanding for the immediate release of activist Boniface Mwangi, who was reportedly abducted by unknown people in Hezlu, Kenya home, Machakos County, Sunday morning. And as Micah Gwongo reports, Mwangi's wife, Njeri Mwangi, says the outspoken activist was picked up by six ununiformed people, went to his own home and forcefully took, his husband, uh, took her husband rather, from the house. According to CCTV footage retrieved from his Machakos home, five men and a woman were spotted entering the homestead at around 7.08 a.m. Sunday morning before leaving with activist Boniface Mwangi and heading to unknown direction. There were five men ununiformed and masked and there was one woman with them. And they walked him out and they didn't say who they were, they didn't say where they were coming from, what they were taking him for, why they were taking him. They just left. Mwangi's wife, Jerry Mwangi, said his plans to infiltrate the Standard Chartered Marathon orchestrated his predicaments, questioning how the officers would forcefully arrest her husband without notice. Standard Marathon. He sent something about Occupy Standard, and it was very clear. He said that people need to be safe, people need to just wear flags. When did it become a crime? that to wear a flag in this country you will be arrested for. According to his post on social media Saturday evening, the activist urged his followers to show up for the marathon, with Ate opposing the Kenya Kwanza regime, along with wearing caps in the national colors, recording protest chants and sharing them online, and bringing placards with messages for President William Ritter. The activist encouraged his followers to wear the national flag as part of their the outspoken activist was taken to Kamukonji police station where he was held for the better part of Sunday before he was debriefed by DCI officers within Kamukonji. Because once they come taking people like this from their homes in front of my sons, he was at home with his sons. My son watched all this. What happens to children, our children as they are growing up, watching these things happening? Law Society of Kenya President Faith Odhiambo called on government to release Mwangi unconditionally or present him in court should he be guilty as alleged. The information we are receiving, he's just been held here but he was arrested and charges have been preferred by the DCI. Political class led by NAC Kenya party leader Mother Karua questioned government officials in the manner they are conducting investigations. We have credible sources who have indicated that there is a special abduction stroke killer squad which is comprised of both police and army officers. I know for a fact that there are security agencies who are specifically targeting human rights defenders, some journalists and some activists with the intention of intimidating them. We urge Kenyans to be each other's keeper and to stand up for each other and protect one another as necessary. It is time to say enough is enough to this rogue regime and those who aid it and abet. The alleged abduction of activist Boniface Mwangi now raises questions on when and how such cases will be tamed across the country, even when President William Ruto promised Kenyans that his Kenya Kwanzaa government will not be associated with such kind of atrocities. Mike Kagwongo, TV 47, Nairobi.